Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 5 angles, question number 1 to 15 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one the topics which will be covered in this chapter. First, concept of parallel, perpendicular and intersecting lines. We'll understand types of angles, then we'll do measurement of the angles, then reading of an angle formed by hands of the clock. So these are the topics which will be covered in this chapter. First section is mathematical reasoning. Question number one, when it is 1030, what kind of angle is formed by the hands of the clock as shown in the given, you can say picture or you can say given clock. So at 1030, if you see the picture, the hour hand is between 10 and 11 and the minute hand is at 6. So this angle. So obviously when the this one is at 6, the minute hand, if I draw from 9, this will be 90 degree, correct? It's a right angle, but it is little bit more than that. So it is more than right angle. So it is not acute angle. It is obtuse angle. It is not right angle. It is not straight. Acute angle is less than 90 degree. Obtuse angle greater than 90 degree. Right angle equal to 90 degree. And straight angle equal to 180 degree. So our answer is B. Next. How many of the following figures have parallel lines? Parallel lines are those who will never meet to each other. Correct? See, if you see in this figure, there are three lines, but they all are meeting. Correct? So this is not the figure, or you can say there, the, as far as this figure is concerned, there is no parallel line. If you see this figure, this and this two are parallel lines. They are never going to meet. Same way, here, this is another pair. Correct? So they are not going to meet. So this figure have a parallel line. If you talk about this and this, it is meeting. Same way if you talk about this, it will meet somewhere. If I extend like this, it will meet somewhere. So there is no parallel line. Here, this and this is a pair of line which will have a parallel of line, correct? Same way this and this pair, they will never meet, this and this. So this figure has a parallel line. Same way here also, this and this. This and this is a pair of lines. So this figure has also parallel line. Circle, there is no parallel line. Even it's there is no line, straight line is not there. It's a rack, it's not even rectilinear figure. So how many? It is one, then two, and three. So answer is B. Three figures have parallel lines. Let's go for next. At what time given below do the minute and hour ends? Of a clock make straight angle. So straight angle means it is 180 degree. The angle between minute and hour ends is 180 degree. So let's see the options. So if you see the 12 o'clock, so at 12 o'clock, say this is 12. The minute hand, uh, hour end, and minute hand both here will be. You can say. Overlap. So angle is 
between that two hands is zero degree. There is no angle. If you see six o'clock, so this is 12, this is six. So this is our minute hand and this is at hour hand. Hour a little bit shorter than minute hand. Don't see the exit, not to the scale. So this angle is 180 degree. So our answer is B. If you see 5 o'clock, C. So this is 12, 6, somewhere here 5. So our end and this, minute hand. This angle is greater than 90 degree. This angle greater than, you can say even 180 degree. Correct, but not 180 degree. So 5 o'clock is not the answer. If you see 3 o'clock, so 12 and 3. So this is minute hand, this is hour hand. So this angle is 90 degree. Correct? So it is right angle, but not 180 degree. Therefore, D is not the answer. Let's go for next. How many pairs of intersecting lines are there in the given figure? So what we have to find out? Intersecting lines. And that do that to pair of. So if I say, let's say this is A, B, then this one is C, D, this one is E, F, this one is G, H. These are the lines, different four lines. Then if you see the pair of intersecting lines, A, B intersect with E, F. So that is one pair, E, B and E, F at this point. Next, if you see C, D intersect with G, H. So that's the second pair, C, D. GH that is this point. Same way CD intersect with this EF. So that's the third pair. You can say third pair CD with EF. At the same time, if you see here, EF intersect with GH also. So EF and GH. So therefore, there are how many pairs? So four pairs. So answer is B. Next. How many angles inside the given figure are less than a right angle? So less than a right angle means less than 90 degree. So it's a basically acute angle. So let's see how many uh, angles are less than 90 degree. So if you see this figure, this angle greater than 90 degree or maybe equal. This is obtuse, obtuse. Equal to 90 degree or maybe greater than, not less than, obtuse, obtuse. This equal to 90 degree, right angle. Greater than 90 degree, greater than 90 degree. Then equal to 90 degree or maybe this is equal or maybe greater than. Same here. This one obtuse. This one obtuse. Correct. And if you see even exterior, there is no angle which is less than 90 degree. Therefore, answer is A. Next. <clears throat> Four pupils each made a statement about the given figure. Some figure is given and some statement has been given by four pupils. Pupil number one, Jyoti said, I can see six pairs of perpendicular lines. Harsha said, there are seven angles in the figure. Jia said, there is only one pair of parallel lines. Her said six of the angles are less than the right angles. 
विच पीपल मेक्स द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट आय द जीओ टी हर्स जी अवर हर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट जीओ टी फर्स्ट एट जीओ टी आई कैन सी सिक्स पैर्स ऑफ परपेडिकुलर लाइन्स परपेडिकुलर लाइन्स मीन्स द एंगल बिट्वीन दैम इज नाइंटी डिग्री let's see this is the first and second line so this is one pair angle is 90 degree second pair this second third pair this fourth pair this fifth pair this sixth pair this any other this is less than this is also less than this is also less than 90 degree and this is greater than 90 degree so six pairs of perpendicular line so yes duty what duty said is correct so answer is a but let's check others also there are seven angles in the figures so let's count how many angles so this is first second third even if i if i see outside the yeah, exterior angle this is fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth further there so what harsha said is wrong it's not the correct statement let's talk about jia what jia said there is only one pair of parallel lines so parallel line so this is first and this is second this two are parallel so it's a one pair same way if i draw this if i draw this it's a parallel line while what she said gia said one pair already we identified two so that means what gia is saying is not correct let's talk about hers what her said six of the angles are less than right angles let's find out less than less than right angles means less than 90 so this is first angle this is second angle this is third angle which are less than 90 let's find out another one so greater than 90 this is equal to 90 equal to 90 this is reflex angle this is reflex angle equal to 90 this one is reflex angle outside is a reflex angle if i talk about this reflex angle outside exterior reflex angle so only we identify three only so what her said is also wrong therefore what jyoti said ki i can see six pairs of perpendicular line that's true that's correct so answer is a next an angle which measures 180 degree is called blank angle so acute angle less than 90 degree obtuse angle greater than 90 degree right angle equal to 90 degree straight angle equal to 180 degree so answer is d next how many of the given letters have parallel lines so we have to identify which letter logic l o g i c out of this five letters how many letters have parallel lines so if you see l so yes there is a parallel line one pair same way this is second pair so l has if i talk about o no if i talk about g yes this is the parallel line so g i obviously this is the parallel line first pair second pair c no so there are three letters which has parallel line l g and i so answer is c next which of the following is not drawn in the given figure ray bd so this is b and this is d so yes this is the ray bd is it it's drawn it's already available in the 
figure. And what, what we have to find out is not drawn. Line AD. So this is A, this is D. And yes, both sides it is extended. It's an infinity. So it is also available. Ray BC. So B is the starting point or you can say source point and C. So infinity. Correct. So it is also drawn. Line segment CD. CD. That's not drawn. So answer is D. It's not available. There is no line between C and D. Next. The smaller angle in the given clock shows blank angle. So there are two angles. This and this. So obviously this one is smaller. Because if you draw a straight line, 180 degree, this looks like this. Okay. So it is on the, you can say, left side. So definitely this angle is smaller. And this one is bigger. So smaller angle in the given clock shows blank angle. So it is less than 180 degree. Is it greater than 90 degree? So yes, it is greater than acute less than 90 degree. So it is not there. It is more than 90 degree. Obtuse greater than 90 degree but less than 180. So yes, reflex greater than 180 degree. Straight equal to 180 degree. So our answer is obtuse that is B. Next. Mohit drew an angle that was half the measure of angle shown in the figure. What type of the what type of the angle did Mohit drew? So here if you see this uh, figure, there is a protector showing some angle. And if you see the angle, it is this, 150 degree. So let me write down here, 150 degree. And Mohit roll half of this. So half of 150 degree means it is 75. 75 degree means it is acute, less than 90. So answer is B. This is how every student will do. But if you be smart, see, please understand. If it is here, then half of here will be straight. So this is straight angle. Half of this will be right angle. But it is not here. It is less than 180. So half of that will be definitely less than 90 degree. Why to find out this figure, 150 or whatever may be that. When it is not at here, it is less than 180 degree, half of that will be certainly less than 90 degree. Whether it's a 75, whether it's a 72, whether it's a 80, whether it's a nine, uh, 89, doesn't matter. It is definitely less than 90, so it is acute. No need to find out what protectors is giving the readings, 150. That's the smart way. Next. At 325, the smaller angle form between two hands of the clock. So first let me let me draw a, a, a clock. Say so this is 12, this one is 3, this one is 6 and 9. So 325. So let, let me draw 5 here, let me draw 4 here. So minute hand will be somewhere here, hour hand will be somewhere between 3 and 4 towards 3 so smaller angle means this so obviously it is less than 90 so it's acute correct less than 90 thanks how many of the given figures are have perpendicular lines Perpendicular lines means those laser when they met the angle is right angle that means 90 degree. So if you see here how many of the given figures have perpendicular lines. So this is 
one correct so this figure has right angle so this figure has perpendicular line if you see here there is no right angle so this figure has no right angle that means there is no perpendicular line if you see here this is a right angle this is a right angle this one 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 is a right angle even this two are also so this figure has many pair of perpendicular line if you see here this less than 90 greater than 90 so there is no perpendicular line correct so this figure has not that means one and two so b two figures have perpendicular lines so answer is b next which type of the angle base describes angle q that is this is it obtuse so greater than 90 is it acute less than 90 is it equals to 90 degree or equals to 180 that means straight so if you see here say if i draw like this a line if i extend correct then if you see this certainly it is greater than greater than 90 degree because 90 degree will be somewhere here perpendicular line this is the perpendicular line so it is greater than 90 degree that means it is obtuse it is not acute it is not right angle obviously it is not straight next how many angles are more than 90 degree in the given figures so more than 90 degree means it may be obtuse even it may be reflex but it should be greater than 90 degree so let's find out this is 90 degree so this is first this one is second we'll talk about interior angles say if you see this this is obviously greater than 90 degree but we'll talk about interior angles so therefore this and this two same way here this third fourth therefore answer is b next so that's all about the solutions of question number 1 to 15 of chapter number 5 angles of sof internationals mathematics olympia once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the rate gmail.com. That is v i w t h a l m a c a d a m y at the rate gmail.com. So, thank you and wish you all the best.